welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Essence of Shay. Let's get started. Yeah. Yes, I took my hair out. It was about that time. It's in dire need of a wash. Is anybody else like does anybody else not like washing their hair? Can I get an amen in the comment box below? Like washing it yourself. Somebody else could wash it, no problem. But washing it yourself is so annoying. I hate washing my hair, bruh. Like, I hate it. Before we get into the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl. All right, let's go. So in this video, I will be talking about one of the most asked questions on my YouTube career thus far. How do I control my frizz shape? How do I control my frizz shape? How do you control your frizz shape? And even though I tell you to leave your hair alone, some of you do not like this answer. You want options. So I am the girl to help you. I'm spitting all over the place, I'm sorry. <laughs> I love y'all. I'm sorry for spitting on you. I don't mean no disrespect. Please don't come for me unless I send for you. Did I sound gangster? These are my five tips on how you can possibly or help control your frizz that are on the dome. Number one, I would say um, compression styles. So um, things like two stranded twists, uh, braid outs, um, lock knots, uh, hairstyles that kind of confine your hair in a state for a while tend to do the trick as far as frizz goes because it's like it's no, it's nowhere for it to escape to, so it kind of has to stay locked in and don't escape. Does that make sense? Um, number two would be lock brushing. I told you guys in a video um, about this a uh, couple weeks ago. Not only helps mature locks stay moisturized, but they also maintain the fridge. Lock brushing is best used when you're best done, actually, when your hair is wet. Um, you can do this dry, but just don't snag at your hair too much. Um, that's another way from to control the frizz in your lock. Number three would be interlocking. Now you guys know that I don't do interlocking, but I've seen other people actually do interlocking and it worked for them because their locks in a sense are like mines where it doesn't actually, it has a hard time actually growing in the lock. It grows, your hair grows kind of around the lock. So, um, and it might be hard to keep in a retwist. So interlocking does help with that and can help with frizz because it's actually drawing the hair strands into the actual lock. Um, you do have to be careful with this because if done incorrectly, it can break your hair and cause serious thinning. So if you don't know how to interlock your hair, please do not go on YouTube and watch somebody's video that teaches you how to interlock and now you're the interlocking queen or king or child, whatever. And then go do your lock, interlock your own hair, and then wonder why your, your, your thing is thinning on the, on the roots. Like, who does that? Not everything you see on YouTube you need to turn around and do yourself. <laughs> Duh. Like, I don't understand this, like. <laughs> Number four would be crocheting your locks. I've seen this done before. I feel like I've had it done to me in the beginning. Not the beginning stages, but when I was like three, four years into my lock journey when my locks were already kind of matured. Um, uh, it w I had crocheting done to my locks. Now what this does is just takes a crochet needle and just puts the hair in between the locks, like gathers it in the locks. So that can help with frizzing and a lot of people do that as well to create new locks without having to wait the whole time. Like there's a lot of benefits with crocheting your locks. This is another option um, to control frizzing 
Once again, do not go doing this your daggone self because you're not gonna blame Shay and be like, oh, well, I watch Essence of Shay video and she said. <laughs> she said you can do this, but she didn't say you can do this. Last but not least, I would like to say Lock Perman. Now, <laughs> the creamy crack, babies. The creamy crack. Yes, you can use this to, so a lot of people use it on their edges because their roots is what grows a lot and their roots have a tendency, anybody's roots has a tendency to frizz up the most. So a lot of people have been using perm, lock perm to perm the hair. And I am not that educated in it, so I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you, but I don't think it's the actual perm. Like it's a form of the perm, but it's not the actual perm that like dries your hair and lets it fall and all that, <laughs> all that stuff. Oh my God, I don't know how people did that. I've never done that before, but Mm, to each his own I guess to each his own anyways guys I hope you enjoyed this video let's clean the boogers I hope I educated you on a few things that you can use right now to control your frizz I hope I'll not get this question anymore because I've been getting it for years and I'm quite tired of answering it okay Okay. <laughs> anyway, guys, I love you guys so much for watching. If I left anything out, and if you have tried anything that's been helping you, leave comments below with anything that can help with the frizz, man. Because a lot of people just do not like the frizz. They hate it. They hate it. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on Thursday. See you later, Psycho Lily. Oh, and a lot of you guys on Instagram has been asking me about my cooking channel. Now, see, the problem is, is that I have another channel up. I don't post on it much. But when I do post the cooking videos on this channel, I barely get any views. But you guys always ask me about it on Instagram. So, <laughs> you gotta look at the video so I know that you're actually watching. See you later, Tiger Lilies. Toodles. Uh, crash course.